What's good everybody? It's your boy Jim Smyker from Jim Reviews here today with no review but with some news or some updates and my thoughts on a couple of things going around concerning Nike. Now I've been asked probably every single day since the news came out about what I think about the Nike, Zoom, Alpha Fly, Next Percent, whatever they want to call it, being officially approved for competition for the World Athletics, the IAAF, the Olympics, whatever. It's approved, it's going to happen. Is the shoe cheating? Does it give athletes an unfair advantage? What do I think about all that? Now personally, I think the shoe is great for running. And not because it gives people an advantage or makes people faster. I think it's just good because it has people talking. Running in itself is not a very popular sport as far as like people watching it and being very engaged in it. Like the NFL, the NBA, all these sports are relevant. There's a lot of money involved. There's people watching it. People are invested in their teams, the players, or whatnot. Well, right now, a lot of people are talking about this shoe. People who don't even run or not even into running are like, do you know about that Alpha Fly, Nike, Vapor Fly? They, they, they're talking about it. And that's, to me, a good thing. As far as competition, I think it's just innovation. At the end of the day, I'm okay with things being improved upon and innovating. Things should get more efficient, faster. Like, how many of you right now have an iPhone 3G? Right now, like you use every day. Probably not many of you. Why? Because it's all technology. Things have improved since then. So you kind of adapt and go with the newer models. Same thing with running shoes. And it's a similar concept in my mind as far as innovation. If Nike does something and people go, oh, that's not fair. We, we don't have that. Well, that's a you problem. Up your game up. If I see a YouTuber that has 500,000 subscribers that does running shoes, I can't be like, well, that's not fair because he had, no, up my game up. Sockety, New Balance, Adidas, whoever. If they have a carbon plate shoe that's remarkable, everyone loves it, make a better version. Your athlete shouldn't have to wear the Nike Vaporfly and have to hide the logo so they can like wear the shoe to match it with other brands. No, their brands need to step up to the plate and make it do what it do. And with that said, Runner's World just announced officially official pictures of the Nike Alpha Fly. The one with the spring, the, the zoom unit, spring, the toe, all that, it's there. It's happening, it's approved for Tokyo, and I'm sure every single Nike athlete will be wearing this shoe for the marathon. So, other brands, you better come up with something quick because it's going down. So yeah, I'll put links down below in the article where you can find more pictures of it and all that nonsense. But what I'm excited about is the new Nike Pegasus 37. Now there's been photos that have been leaked out now that show off what the shoe looks like. And I'm actually glad about this because I've had photos of the shoe last year. I have a couple of buddies in here in town who are wear testers for Nike. So I've seen the prototypes of the Nike Pegasus 37 as they developed over time. Now these are pretty much the final result of what they're gonna come out with. So yeah, I'm excited, new look, uh, interesting. It kind of has that zoom fly look and I can confirm that this is how the ones looked as far as what I've seen from my friends, the prototypes. So these are pretty much legit as far as how the shoe's gonna look. Now what people wanna know is, will it be a zoom unit with React? Or will they have a zoom unit with a basic, you know, Kushlon phone? And you know, if the shoe is React with a zoom unit in a Nike Pegasus package, that might be interesting. For the right price? I don't know, if it's 120 for that, there may not be a need for the Vimero. People say, we want a new Vimero. Well, there may not be a need for one. Because the Vimero was essentially a zoom unit with the React phone combined. So if the Pegasus is that same concept in a lighter weight package, you know, that might be it. And that'll be out the summertime, probably around, usually around May, you'll start seeing them pop up some places. But yes, I'm very excited for the Pegasus 37. The Alpha Fly should be very interesting. But yeah, let me know what you think about the whole Alpha Fly being legalized. Do you think the spring is too much? Is it to the point that we're not even running anymore? We're just like bouncing around? You might feel that way. I'm interested to see what people say. So let me know down below. And yeah, it's an interesting time to be a runner. Or as I said, an elite jogger. But with that said, be sure to stay in school, don't do drugs, and please subscribe to the channel. Goodness gracious, man. It's hard out in these streets. But yeah, keep it tight.